Are you there, Charlie Bear? Charlie? Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? Oh! There you are, Charlie! Are you travelling around the world? You're travelling very fast! Ah, a desert island! Is that where you're going? Right, then you'd better pack some supplies. It's a long way away. What will you take with you, Charlie Bear? Hmm, do you really think you'll need a toy trumpet on the island? Do you think you should take something useful, like a book to read or something to shade you from the sun? Good choice. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I'm not sure that they'll be very useful on a desert island. Why don't you take something really useful, like a bouncy hopper? Um, I wasn't actually thinking of a bouncy hopper, Charlie, but it's up to you. Are you ready to go? Aren't you taking anyone with you? You might like some friends to play with on your desert island. Well, aren't you going to explore your beautiful tropical island? It's almost as small as it was on your map. <laughs> but at least it's nice and sunny, and you've got the island all to yourself. Enjoy your island, Charlie Bear. Fantastic sandcastle, Charlie. Are you going to guard it from pirates? Where did your sandcastle go, Charlie? Oops! <laughs> Never mind. You could always build another one. Or you could do something else. Like making a very loud noise. Have you run out of things to do, Charlie? I suppose those boingy things are funnier when your friends are there to laugh at them. Maybe you should have let some friends come with you. What can you see, Charlie Bear? I think that boat is too far away to see you. You'll have to do something to help them spot you. You can wave at the boat. What other things did you bring with you, Charlie? I wonder what you can do with them. You just need to attract the attention of that boat, Charlie. You've got to love that bear. Well 
Well done, Charlie. They saw you and heard you. It's great to have your friends with you on your little island, mm -hmm. isn't it, Charlie? But, um, there's not much room for you all to play, is there? It's amazing what you can do with your imagination, Charlie. I'm glad to see you found an island big enough for you and all your friends. Bye-bye, little Charlie Bear. Bye-bye, everybody. Are you there, Charlie Bear? Where is he? Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? Oh. What's that? It looks like paper. Here's another one. Oh, there you are, Charlie. What are you drawing? Is it a building? Oh, uh, a tree with a dog on top. Oh, I, I know, I know, I know. It, it, it's a mouse riding a bicycle around a maze. It was a drawing of rivet. Right. I, I knew that. Uh, Charlie, don't give up. Come on, do another picture. Draw something you really like. It could be something real or something that you imagine. You can do a picture of anything you want. Good stuff, Charlie Bear. So what are you going to draw? Ah, oh, you're going to draw a window. Oh, you're going to draw something outside the window. Right. What a lovely park. There'll be plenty of lovely things to draw here, Charlie. That will make a fantastic drawing. Don't forget, Charlie, there's no need to get annoyed just because the drawing isn't turning out how you thought. It doesn't have to look exactly like the flower. Oh, right, you're concentrating. Sorry, won't say another word. Oh, look, there's Bellerina. Sorry. Oops, be careful. <laughs> be, get it? Is the bee. Do you... Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Are you okay, Charlie? Never mind, Charlie. Pictures can change in unexpected ways. Stop! Don't scribble over it, Charlie. Show it to me, please. I love it. I really love it. It's beautiful. Charlie, don't you believe me? I love that it doesn't look exactly like the flower, and it doesn't have to. It's a drawing, Charlie, not a photo. <gasps> You're drawing! Follow that roller skater! There she goes, Charlie. <laughs> Over here. Charlie, this way. Woo, isn't Bellerina a good skater, Charlie? <laughs> oh, I guess chasing isn't allowed here. <laughs> 
teachers isn't allowed either. Oh, no. Don't give up, Charlie. Don't go. But you're so good at drawing. There must be something you can do. Charlie, what have you thought of? That's the same as the sign. Charlie, you clever bear. Well done, Charlie Bear. Well done for not giving up on your drawing. It's amazing what you can do with your imagination, Charlie. Oh, yes. That one, too. Is that all of your pictures? What are you drawing now, Charlie? A picture of me? No one wants to see what I look like. I'm just a regular colour. I don't look like a flower with a kitten face. That's silly. It is. <laughs> it's funny too, but still. I know. Draw another picture of me, Charlie. Go on, please. Oh, yes. Bye-bye, everyone. Let's see how silly Charlie can make me look this time. <laughs> Are you there, Charlie Bear? Charlie? Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? Oh, there you are. It's a very red and shiny pair of wellies you're wearing, Charlie. Oh, yes, they look lovely. Whoops! <laughs> Do your wellies look even better from down there? So, um, why are you wearing wellies indoors, Charlie? You're a cow jumper. No. A cow rusher? Oh, you're being a farmer. What else are you going to do on your farm, Charlie? <laughs> I'm not sure that farmers just jump in muddy puddles, Charlie. Being a farmer is harder work than that. <laughs> Excellent splashing, Charlie. Wow! What a big farm you've got, Charlie. And there are a lot of muddy puddles in it, too. Maybe I was wrong about being a farmer. It does look like a lot of fun. Splish. Splash. Splosh. Which one is the biggest puddle, Charlie? That's huge. One, two, three. Ooh, what was that? Have a closer look. It's not the tree making that noise, Charlie. Rivet is one of your sheep, Farmer Charlie, and he's stuck up that tree. I think you have to rescue Rivet the sheep before you can do any more puddle jumping, Charlie. Getting a ladder? 
a trampoline? I didn't know that's how farmers get their sheep out of trees. Farmer Charlie. Mm. Hold on, what's that sound? Surely it's not Rivet the Sheep in trouble again. It's Caramel. I think she might be hungry, Charlie. Are you getting some nice green grass? Cows love eating grass. Or a cupcake, yes, I suppose cows might like cupcakes. Oh! <laughs> Caramel is still hungry. Where did you get that cupcake, Charlie? Watch out, Farmer Charlie. Caramel has gone cupcake crazy. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Niblet's hutch is broken. Now you need to repair Niblet's hutch, Charlie. Well done, Farmer Charlie. Farmer Charlie? play puddle jumping with you. I'm not surprised you're tired, Charlie. Being a farmer was a lot of hard work after all. It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. Uh, Charlie, there are muddy welly prints to clean up. Yes, now. Farmers always clean up after themselves. Hey, that looks like fun too. Bye-bye, <laughs> little Charlie Bear. Bye-bye, everybody. Are you there, Charlie Bear? Where is he? Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? Oh, <laughs> there you are, Charlie. Uh, Charlie, what are you doing? Charlie? Charlie? Charlie! <laughs> you need to be a little more careful, Charlie. You're being a bit of a monkey today. Oh, you put gloves on your feet. You are a monkey. <laughs> I suppose monkeys can act all silly sometimes. But if you're not careful, you might break something or upset someone. Why don't you go outside and be silly in the garden? Oh, it's raining. I suppose you can't go outside now, Charlie. Oh, Charlie, you really should calm down. Can't you be a monkey without being so out of control? Oh, you're in the right place now, Charlie. If a monkey's going to act silly and overexcited, then a jungle is just the place to do it. <laughs> and you do make a very good monkey, Charlie. It looks like fun. And it seems like you've got this jungle all to yourself. And you can be as silly as you like because there's no one else here for you to upset. Oh, except Midge. 
and he's a tiger. You'd better calm down and not make too much noise, Charlie Bear. No one likes being disturbed when they're asleep, especially a tiger. Careful, Charlie! Oh, no! Oh, dear. Mitch the tiger has woken up. Whew. It looks like you got away with that one, Charlie Bear. You were very lucky, but I think it'll be okay now, as long as you calm down. Charlie! That's not calming down! And you really shouldn't play with food, especially next to a sleeping tiger. You'll wake Midge up again. You threw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bananas. Now you've done it. Being silly and overexcited really isn't a good idea around a tiger, Charlie. They've got big teeth and big claws, so you don't want to make one angry. You must stop throwing those bananas. That's it, Charlie. Just act nice and calm. Drumming isn't nice and calm, Charlie Bear. It's loud. Stop it, Charlie, please. Midge will wake up and be very angry. Oh, please, Charlie, be sensible and calm down. Who knows what that tiger might do if you wake him up. Tiger has got a really loud roar. That's better. Tidying up is a much calmer thing to do. No, Charlie! Oh, I see. You're saying sorry. That's very nice of you, Charlie. Tigers eat bananas. There, Charlie. It's much nicer when everything's calm, isn't it? It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. Oh, I thought you weren't going to be silly and out of control anymore, Charlie Bear. What's that? It's not you being silly. It's Mitch. <laughs> oh, well. Bye-bye, <laughs> little Charlie Bear. Bye-bye, everybody. See you soon. Are you there, Charlie Bear? Charlie? Oh. Where is he? Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? Is that you, Charlie? It is you! <laughs> oh, yeah, be careful! Oh! <laughs> Poor Frozo! Um, so, Charlie, why are you wearing your warm winter clothes? It's a hot, sunny day! Ah, oh, that's right. Winter clothes are your favourite. Ah, very nice. Very fetching. Super cool. Although, you know, warm. It's a hot sunny day, Charlie. You'll get way too hot dressed like that. You did get too hot. Mm-hmm. 
Are you going to take those winter clothes off now? No, but... You'll get even hotter if you run around playing tennis. Okay, now I have no idea what you are doing, Charlie. I mean, no idea. None whatsoever. Charlie? Charlie? Charlie! <laughs> there you are! I see! The tennis rackets are snowshoes! <laughs> OK, now you're dressed right. There's no way you'll get too hot in the icy Antarctic. Go, Charlie! Woohoo! <laughs> you the bear! You've got this whole snowy place to yourself, Charlie. That's one way to play tennis. Uh, your tennis snowball came back. Maybe you haven't got this whole place to yourself, Charlie. Charlie, why are you running away? It's just Frozo. Oh, it's not Frozo. It's a scary penguin you've never seen before. I've got it. <laughs> Look out, Charlie! Hurry up, Charlie, he's behind you! Again, how did he get there so quickly? <laughs> You're going to hide in that igloo, are you, Charlie? Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, Charlie, the penguin seems disappointed. Sad, even. You can't stay in here all day. Maybe the penguin will go away. <coughs> nope. The penguin's not going away. What are you going to do, Charlie? Oh. Oh, dear. Charlie, the penguin has been waiting so long, he is getting cold. He's shivering. He needs to warm up. See? Oh, well done, Charlie Bear. That's very nice of you. I knew penguins were nice and friendly. Frozo is nice and warm, but it's still a hot day outside. I love your igloo, Charlie. It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. Oh, you're off outside to play. Well, bye-bye, Charlie Bear. See you next time. Are you there, Charlie Bear? Where is he? Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? There you are, Charlie. What are you 
making. It's a trophy, isn't it? Fantastic! You must have done something extra special to get a trophy. What did you do? Oh, you didn't do anything. Don't worry, Charlie. How about doing something extra special now? <laughs> I've seen you do star jumps before. Do you think that was extra special? Ah, you're using your imagination. Are you a... Are you... Are you a monster? Okay, you're not a monster. Are you being chased by a monster? <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to scare you. Oh, you're driving a car. It's the little Charlie Bear supercar. You are imagining that you are a racing car driver. This is extra special. Which car will you race, Charlie? The red one. Good choice. Solid choice, Charlie. Always go red. Drivers, take your places for the little Charlie Bear supercar race. What can you see through your telescope, Charlie? Ah, trophies. You have to race to get a trophy, Charlie. Drivers, get ready. Get steady. Go, go, go! Charlie, go! The wind-up key. That's so nice and helpful of them. Go on, Charlie! Look out, Charlie! Whoa! Watch where you're driving, Charlie! Whoa! Good driving, Charlie Bear. Really good. You're catching up to Nibble. Slow down for the bump, Charlie. Charlie? Catching caramel in the blue car. <laughs> oh no, your car needs winding up again. How are you going to cross the finishing line now, Charlie? The wind up key. Charlie, shouldn't you wind Niblet in Caramel's cars too? Hmm? Well done, Charlie. That's extra special helping out your friends. Ready, steady, go! An extra special effort to complete the little Charlie Bear supercar race! Well done, Charlie Bear. You got your trophy. Fantastic racing car, Charlie. Wow, it's amazing what you can do with your imagination. Whoa! 
<laughs> Steady, Charlie. Oh, dear. I think you should tidy up your toys, don't you, Charlie? Even if you do have a trophy, you still have to tidy up. Thank you, Charlie. Bye-bye, little Charlie Bear. See you again soon. Are you there, Charlie Bear? Charlie? Oh. Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? There you are, Charlie. Hey! What are you doing? You've made Midge into a marionette puppet. Fantastic! What else can Midge do, Charlie? Oh, is he getting tired? How do you think you can wake him up a bit, Charlie? Charlie, be careful. I don't think Midge would like to wake up that way. You reckon that Midge does like being flung about the place? But imagine if someone was making you do something like that. Wouldn't be much fun, would it? You do think it would be fun. Hmm. I'm not sure I agree with you, Charlie. on stage and everything. Wow! Amazing dancing, Charlie. Bravo, Charlie! Bravo! No time for another bow. Looks like your next performance is going to start now. Charlie, it doesn't look like you're ready for some of those dance moves. Are you sure you're OK? Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Those were the biggest horizontal and vertical dance moves I've ever seen. Oh, you don't know what horizontal and vertical means? Well, horizontal means sideways, or, <laughs> yes, side to side. Good. And vertical, well, vertical means up... <laughs> yes, up and down, exactly. Whew. You're finished for the moment. Right. Uh, bravo, Charlie, I think. What's wrong, Charlie? Oh! You need to go to the toilet. Oh, my goodness! You're being pulled back! Oh, no, Charlie, you're being made to dance again. Oh, Charlie, this is terrible. You have to keep trying to get there. Go on, Charlie. You can do it. You can. You have to get to that toilet. Oh, no. That's it, Charlie. Keep trying. Now what are you 
you going to do? You're free! And now you are doing what you want. Good for you, Charlie. It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. Midge will be pleased to have those strings taken off. Did Midge say something, Charlie? Oh, that's nice, Charlie. Is that to make him nice and comfortable? You would do anything for Midge, wouldn't you, Charlie? Of course you would. Bye-bye, little Charlie Bear. Bye-bye, Midge. Bye-bye, everybody. Are you there, Charlie Bear? Where is he? Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? Oh, there you are, Charlie. Oh, is Rivet going to ski down that slope? Oh, never mind. Try again, Charlie. Oh dear! Go on, Charlie. Rivet might make it all the way down this time. What's that, Charlie? Rivet should watch you. Oh, <laughs> you're not going to slide down on your feet, are you? Well, it is a little bit harder on skis. <laughs> yes, Charlie. I'm sure Rivet's got it now that you've shown him how. Don't be surprised. Skiing isn't easy. Well, Rivet thinks it's hard. Maybe it is hard. Oh, where are you going? <laughs> Don't worry, Charlie. Being on skis really isn't easy. Oh, look at Rivet go! He can ski! What's that? You're good at skiing too, Charlie Bear. Are you sure you can do what Rivet did, Charlie? Oh, what's that? Does it pull you up the slope? Be careful! Oh, even going up doesn't look easy. Oh, smooth. Good idea, Charlie. A few exercises before you set off. Yeah, stretch it out. Will you be going down soon? Oh, just a few more exercises. Can't be too careful. Is it time now? It was easy.
easy. Are you sure? It didn't look easy. Okay, keep practicing before you try anything harder. Oh, don't go too far up, Charlie. Oh, dear. Charlie, it's much steeper now. Charlie, be careful! Did you mean to do that, Charlie? Charlie, I don't think I can watch you do that again. Are you sure you can do this, Charlie? Oh, Charlie. Charlie, watch out for that bump. Charlie? Charlie? <laughs> oh, Charlie. <laughs> Being a snowman is easier than skiing down a mountain, isn't it? <laughs> it's amazing what you can do with your imagination. So no more skiing then, Charlie. Oh, yes. Sledging is much easier. Bye-bye, little Charlie Bear. Bye-bye, everybody. Are you there, Charlie Bear? Charlie? Will you help me call him? Are you there, Charlie Bear? Oh! There you are, Charlie. What have you been looking for? You've been looking for your camera? Do you mean that camera, Charlie? <laughs> So what are you going to take a photo of then, Charlie Bear? Hey! I wasn't ready. That's not even my best side. <laughs> what else do you want to take a photo of? Apart from me, that is. You don't know? <laughs> there must be something interesting enough to take a photo of. Not even Frozo. Oh, are you not going to take a photo after all? Are you going to the beach instead? You've come to the beach to take a photo. Oh, there will be all sorts of lovely things to photograph here. Pretty shell. Paw prints in the sand. What are you going to photograph next, Charlie Bear? Oh, 
Oh, very nice, a pebble sculpture. That will make a great photograph. It's Frozo. Oh, you don't want Frozo in your photo, Charlie. He's not going to move, Charlie. He just thinks you're waving to him. There are lots of other amazing things to take pictures of. It's Frozo again! <laughs> now that would be a funny photograph. A seagull and Frozo in the sky with a beach ball. Oh, well, I think it would be a funny photograph. Ah, yes, a photo of the sea. The beautiful, big, empty sea. Frozo won't be in there, will he? He is in there! Oh, dear. Wait, Charlie, where are you going? Wow, Frozo is fast. There must be some way you can take a photo without Frozo getting in the way. took a photo of Frozo, made him happy, and now he is going. And now you can take whatever photograph you like without Frozo. <laughs> Are you laughing at the photos you took before? <laughs> oh, look at them brilliant, Charlie. I think Frozo would like those too. <laughs> oh, that's nice. It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. Wow, that's a great background you've drawn for your photo, Charlie Bear. Oh, I love this photo of you both. Bye-bye, <laughs> little Charlie Bear. Bye-bye, everyone. Are you there, Charlie Bear? Where is he? Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? Oh, there you are, Charlie. And I love your wand. You're a fairy, aren't you? <laughs> but I thought you made a very nice fairy, Charlie. Oh, are you bossing everyone around, Charlie Bear? I see. You're not a fairy, you're a sheriff. And that's your sheriff's badge. Everyone has to do as you say. Is that right, Charlie? like a real wild west town. You're in the right place to be a sheriff now, Charlie. Except there doesn't seem to be anyone here for you to boss around. There's Caramel and she's a horse. Caramel the horse. Oh. 
You want to ride Caramel? Hmm, I think she's busy drinking her carrot juice, Charlie. See? Caramel is still thirsty, Charlie. Whoops! Careful, Charlie! Oh, dear. You really are being very bossy, Charlie Bear. No wonder Caramel won't do what you want. She wants to finish her drink. What's that? You're the sheriff, so Caramel should do as you say. Oh, I don't think she wants to go that way, Charlie. Or that way either. Caramel is a horse who won't be bossed around, Charlie. Maybe you should just get off and let her finish her carrot juice. Oh, I see. You want Caramel to jump over the tree stump. Mm. Mm. I really think you should just let Caramel do what she wants, Charlie. I'm not sure that showing her how to jump over the tree stump is going mm. to work either. Caramel probably already knows how to do it. She just doesn't want to. I don't think begging will work either. Mm. Oh, it didn't. Here goes, Charlie. Hold on tight. Dear Charlie, you're not going to be cross with Caramel, are you? <laughs> yes, Charlie Bear. That's a much better way to treat a horse. All done. Are you going to boss Caramel around any more, Charlie? Would you still like a ride, though? Mm. Oh, yes, you're right. Only if that's what Caramel wants to do. Hold on tight, Charlie. Yee-haw! Oh, bravo, Charlie and Caramel. You see, Charlie? You got what you wanted when you stopped being bossy. It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. Are you still being a sheriff, Charlie, now that you've stopped being bossy? Oh, I see. Caramel's the sheriff now. <laughs> well, I hope she doesn't boss you around too much. Bye-bye, little Charlie Bear. Bye-bye, everybody. See you again soon. Are you there, Charlie Bear? Charlie? Where is he? Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? Oh, well, there's Bellerina and Niblet. <laughs> They're doing a show. Now, I wonder who could be making Bellerina and Niblet perform. <laughs> I knew it! Bravo, Charlie! I wonder what Niblet and Bellerina are going to do next. Ah, so Niblet loves playing football. What's 
ballerina saying, Charlie? Aha! Ballerina loves playing football too. Good kick, Ballerina. And now Niblet wants another go, does he? Are they arguing about who is going to have the next kick? You're making them argue, Charlie. I know you're just pretending, but arguments are not funny, Charlie. If you really did have to stop these two arguing, it wouldn't be funny now, would it? Stadium. Well, if you've got a whistle and you're on a football field, Charlie, then you must be a referee. But who are the players? Niblet and Ballerina, of course. Blow your whistle and let the game begin, Charlie. Uh, that doesn't seem like a good way to start a game of football. Are they still arguing, Charlie? Start the game properly, Charlie. You are the referee. I love to watch football. I think I'm watching football. Or maybe it's just an argument on a football field. Charlie, do something, please. Niblet and Bellerina are out of control. A yellow card. That's a warning to them to play the game properly. After that comes a red card, and that means they're not allowed to play anymore. They're even shaking their bottoms at each other. <laughs> The referee is showing them the red card. Uh, actually, Charlie, that's a pink card. That's green. That's blue. That's brown. How many cards do you have, Charlie? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there's the red card. The referee has sent them off. Oh, dear. What else could you do, Charlie? They weren't playing football. Instead, they were just arguing all the time. It's not funny, though, is it? Everyone feels absolutely awful, don't they? Arguments always make everyone feel bad. But how do you think you can stop everyone feeling awful? Yes, a hug. A hug always makes you feel better. Phew, I'm so pleased. It's amazing what you can do with your imagination.
Bye-bye, little Charlie Bear. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>